Yeah. New video shows the inside of the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-9 MAX that was forced to make an emergency landing after the door plug failed midair. Yeah, the Federal Aviation Administration urging airlines now to inspect these door panels on other types of Boeing 737 jets as, as a result of what happened. FAA says a nose wheel fell off a Boeing 757 jet operated by Delta Airlines while that flight was lining up to take off at Atlanta's airport just last weekend. That's scary. The 737 MAX 9s are still grounded. Boeing will pause operations at its factory in Renton, Washington tomorrow so teams can take the day to just focus on product quality. Chris Van Cleve has more on this and how Boeing's top executive is dealing with all the issues. Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun is on Capitol Hill meeting with senators. Going into a meeting with Senator Warner of Virginia, Calhoun acknowledged there are a lot of questions that need to be answered, but insisted Boeing airplanes are safe. We don't Easy, put airplanes uh, in the air that we don't have 100% confidence in. I'm here today in the spirit of transparency. This comes as the CEOs of two of Boeing's biggest customers, United and Alaska, express frustration with Boeing over the quality control issues that led to the door panel on a 737 MAX 9 blowing off in flight. Alaska's CEO says he is angry about the quality lapses. United's CEO says his airline has removed some of the 737 MAX planes they were planning to receive from their long-term planning because they don't believe that Boeing can make the delivery timeline. The airlines are also inspecting their 737 900 ERs, a previous generation of the 737 that also has that same door panel to make sure the bolts on that airplane are all installed properly. The NTSB investigation is ongoing. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Phoenix. The FAA is also feeling pressure. The administrator will be grilled at a House hearing next month. Boeing and the FAA continuing to discuss the inspections that will ultimately need to be done while those 737 MAX 9 planes remain grounded, resulting in hundreds of, of United and Alaska flights being canceled every day.